us do this in shops like when we were actually allowed to go and physically shop put the clothes up against them and look in the mirror or am i just that weirdo hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're new here then welcome i hope you're all good so for today's video we have got one of my fave vids to film a pretty little thing haul i feel like has it been a while since i've done a plt haul i can't remember when my last one was which to me says it's definitely been a while and you guys will know pretty little thing is just my fave place to go to for literally anything loungewear casual wear dresses shoes accessories i just think pretty little thing does it all doesn't it so it is one of my fave hauls to go through now i'm calling this haul a spring haul we're not saying spring summer just yet because we're not quite there but i know it's mid-march and it is currently raining outside but it's my birthday birthday on Easter weekend and normally by the time my birthday comes around at the beginning of April I tend to start switching up my wardrobe to spring wear and my spring wardrobe is seriously in need of a complete revamp. There's not been much that we've been able to do and obviously when spring comes around we're hopefully, fingers crossed if the government keep their promises, going to be allowed to start going out again. So yeah I really needed to update my spring wardrobe. Speaking of being allowed to do things, they announced that in Wales, I live in North Wales, our hair dresses are allowed to open from Monday. I have booked my appointment for Thursday morning which I am so buzzing for. I'm actually thinking of starting the process of going back blonde. Obviously I dyed my own hair really dark in lockdown and as much as I do love having my dark hair because this is like my true to natural colour, I just feel like it's a bit bland you know. I feel like my blonde hair gave me like a bit about me. I don't know maybe you guys can let me know what you think. Anyway completely off subject, ended up talking about my hair. Let's get back to the haul. So obviously I'm going to go through each item with you and I will pop a little clip in here of me trying on the item because I think that is just so handy. I will of course link everything down below so you can shop each item directly from the description bar which will take you to the PLT website. And yeah I'm excited to show you what I got because there are some really nice things in this haul. So let's start with jeans. So I actually picked up a couple of pairs of jeans and there's a reason for that. First reason is a lot of my denim in my wardrobe at the moment is darker denim and I wanted to bring in more of like a light wash for the spring summer season and another reason is that all of my jeans generally speaking are a size 10 and since losing a bit of weight recently they just don't fit me very well at all. I mean I can still wear them and they look okay but they just don't sit right they're just a little bit too baggy. So starting with these I would say these are a mom style jean because they are a bit of a looser fit but not like the wide leg so they do go in a little bit at the bottom. They are in this light wash and they have got the tan contrast stitching which I think makes them look really really vintage which I love. These are really really thick and really amazing quality and what I liked about these is the rip so it's got distress detail here and also at the bottom as well. So yeah I really like the rip detail in these and I think because of like the tone in the jeans because there are a couple of different tones I think that they will just go with so much. I got these in a size 8 like I said I need to start sizing down in my jeans so fingers crossed they fit okay because I haven't bought size 8 jeans in so long and I haven't actually tried these on yet. So next up and another pair of jeans now these are more of just like a solid denim color and i felt like these were a little bit more dressy so those ones are quite casual jeans these ones you can wear when you go out and have like the jeans and a nice top five so these are a straight leg jean so they're not a mom jean they're not as relaxed as a mom jean but they're certainly not a skinny jean they're just more like tight on the waist and then a straight leg these are obviously a light wash and they're more of like one solid color than having like a tone in them and then i really like jeans that at the bottom are just sort of cut off and a little bit distressed and not actually sewn. I just think these are going to look so nice, you know, with like a white crop top or like a light baby pink or a lemon or like those kind of pastel vibes. White heels, white clutch bag, I just think that's going to look so nice for going out. Again, I got those jeans in a size 8 too, so fingers crossed guys. Okay, so next up, we've got like a long sleeve casual midi dress. So it's not like me to go for dresses. I mean, when I go out, I will wear a dress, but in the daytime, I don't normally go for that kind of thing. But I have been obsessed with like these soft cotton jumpsuits that are just really casual and really easy to wear. So I wanted to go for a dress that was like a similar vibe. What I liked about this dress is it was listed as a thick rib. So to me, that said, it's definitely not going to be see-through, even though it's cream and it's 
has not disappointed because it is extremely thick and I feel like it's going to hold me in in all of the right places and it's definitely not see-through at all. This room is really bright and you can normally tell when something's going to be see-through. It's long sleeve like I said and it's a midi length and it has got these buttons all the way down the front so the neckline is like a v-shape and then the buttons go all the way down the front of the dress. The material, I don't know if you can see, is a really, really thick rib material, which I really like. I'm really excited to try this on because I think with a crossbody bag and a nice pair of chunky sandals in the spring summer, that's going to be so nice with maybe like a little leather jacket or something like that. I actually picked this up in a size 6 and the reason was is the model was a size 8 and it looked quite gapy and quite baggy around her back and I thought, considering it's a thick rib, I could probably get away with sizing down and it will still stretch and not be see-through. Okay, so next up, these might not be everybody's cup of tea and I appreciate that but when it comes to shorts in the spring summer I'm all for a jogger short so like a sweat short because I live in joggers all the time like you guys know joggers are my thing when it's spring summer I like to have like the short version and these are very very tomboyish and quite baggy and quite a relaxed fit so a lot of people would probably just use these for loungewear but to be honest this is the kind of thing that I wear out of the house on like a casual day so I went for the white ones I think they do these in black and maybe grey as well so if I like how these fit when they're on I'm definitely gonna invest in some more thick cotton they've got the waistband here which is elasticated and they've also got a drawstring as well and they're basically just joggers but sewn to be into a short. They've got pockets, which is a must for me. I love putting my hands in my pockets. How annoying is it when you buy a pair of joggers and there's no pockets and you're constantly trying to find it? So I'll always go for a size 10 in joggers, even now that I've lost a little bit of weight. I do like them to be an extremely baggy fit. So I did get these in a size 10. Looking at them, they're definitely oversized. Probably could have got away with an 8, but anything with a drawstring, I'll always stick to a 10 in because I like a lot of material and you can always pull them in to fit you at the waist. Honestly, guys, if you like wearing black, do not get a white chihuahua. Don't do it. Okay, next up, and I actually think this will look really nice with those white shorts. We have got a plain high neck just bodysuit, which is double layered. If you know about the Zara bodysuit, so last summer everybody was going crazy for these bodysuits. I bought two in black and they are amazing. This is literally identical, so it's the exact same material, double layer. It's the exact same cut around the neck and the arms, and of course, it's a thong bodysuit. So this is white, of course, but I would say it's more of an off-white in comparison to the shorts. It's a little bit more creamy but not cream if that makes sense. I got this in a size 8 so this is just a perfect item to mix and match with anything in the spring. My black ones I've wore so much in the winter under things, under jackets. So I really wanted a white one for the summer so this will go really nice with those jeans, it'll go nice with the short, it'll go nice with midi skirts, floaty skirts, pretty much everything. These are just such a good little staple piece to have in your wardrobe. Okay so the final item of clothing and you won't be surprised is an oversized printed t-shirt so all of my tees in my wardrobe at the moment are a dark nude or charcoal and I really needed to brighten it up like I don't know if you can tell everything in this haul is like light and bright ready for spring summer so I decided to get this one which is an oversized t-shirt and it's got like this vintage Bronx police print on the front which looked incredible on the model with some light jeans it's literally just a boxy oversized tee and then of course the print is here on the front I got this in a size medium and the colour is like a pure white it's like a really really bright white colour I really 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 like this I just feel like with jeans if I want to dress it up a bit with jogger shorts or with leggings sandals I just love an oversized t-shirt in the summer and it's really nice and airy as well and you don't sweat in them so that's all the clothes but I have saved the best until last because I have got three pairs of sandals which I am absolutely so happy with Another thing that I really needed was flat sandals. So I don't know if you watched my Boohoo and Misguided haul um, a few weeks ago, but I did a lot of dressy heeled sandals ready for spring summer. But I also really needed some flat ones and I've seen so many in Zara and Mango that I like, but they are a bit pricey. So I'm about to show you some Mango and Zara vibes from PLT for like a fraction of the price. So we'll start with these. Let me take the stickers off because I already know I'm keeping these. I absolutely love them. 
I didn't actually know this, but Pretty Little Thing do real leather shoes. Like some of their sandals that I was looking at are real leather. So these ones and the black ones that I'm going to show you are real leather. Starting with these chunky camel darn sandals. I think these look a little bit lighter on camera than they actually are. They're quite similar to my skin colour. They've got this chunky black sole here and then obviously this thick bit of leather across the toe and then they look really really chunky and really comfy but of course I'll show you what they're like on. But how nice are they? To be honest all of these sandals that I've picked will literally go with anything. Jeans, dresses, skirts, just anything for like a nice casual summer vibe. So that is those ones. How cute are they? So like I said those ones are real leather. So the second real leather pair that I got are these black ones which I just feel like are going to be my go-to this summer. So the sole on these ones isn't as chunky as the camel ones that I just showed you but what I really like is that the bottom kind of border comes further out than the top. I don't know if you can even see but there's like a little step in it which I really like. I love this chunky, it's not like a plait is it? It's like tube detail but I think that is so cool. It's like a woven detail. Obviously guys the quality of these is amazing. I mean of course they're real leather so they're going to be a bit more durable than ones that are faux leather. So that is the second pair that I got. Aren't they lovely? Again size four, not a wide fit but I do feel like they're going to be okay. Okay third and final pair of sandals and the last thing in this haul and even though these ones are faux leather I think they're actually my fave and to be honest I think they're going to be a little bit more comfortable. So these again are a sandal and they've got the in between the toe detail so those two are just like a strap across your feet but these ones have got like the bar that goes between your toe. So the upper is a cream faux leather and then the bottom is this chunky black sole and I think these are so nice and what I love about wearing cream like shoes and sandals in the spring summer is that if you've got a tan it makes your feet and your legs look really really brown. How nice would these look with the white bodysuit, the jeans and then these at the bottom so it's like a bit of white and light denim. I think that is just such a nice look and then a nice little black crossbody bag. And yeah another sandal that will go with absolutely everything. And that I think, I'm just checking all the packaging on the floor, yeah I think that's everything. So that's everything in this haul. We've got some jeans, we've got some nice light bits of clothing ready for the warmer weather and of course some gorgeous flat casual sandals as well. I'm somebody that wears trainers a lot like I am never in heels or heeled boots especially not in the daytime like if you're a girl that wears heeled boots and heels in the daytime honestly hats off to you because I just can't do it I live in sneakers so for me transitioning from sneakers to like a flat chunky sandal is like the perfect way to go please do let me know what your fave things are or if you bought anything all the links like I already said will be down below there will also be a link to my Instagram down below as well so please come and follow me on there in the meantime but otherwise I will see you all in Wednesday's video. Bye!